Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we got my boy 50 to watch one of the greatest voices of basketball, man. Did go to himself, LeBron did do it, man. So you never watched one of the episodes for? Never watched another episode. Man, when I say this is, it got so much game and so much knowledge, so much information, bro, like you gonna, you gonna appreciate it, man. Okay. And get to it, man. Attention, I had so many people, people, like wine people, text me. Oh yeah, me or too. DM me, be like, yeah. we couldn't quite make out. I knew, I knew you were drinking the one Rousseau. What was the other one? Or? Yeah. Someone called me last uh, episode one. They said he's not, he's not gonna waste a drop of that wine. But I poured you some when I was like, oh, sorry, I didn't know you were another glass. I poured you some, and we're he's, talking he's, to me in a conversation. I wiped really the bottle, like, licked my finger. They was like, oh yeah, he's not wasting he a drop. He breaks down for this, bro. <laughs> it's basketball for dummies. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, they, they do a good job with this, man. Welcome back to Mind the Game with LeBron James and me, JJ Reddick. This is episode three. We're going to be talking a Man, little bit about Man, I don't think people understand that dude, JJ, bro. In the NBA. Bro, he, he was that. LeBron's he was career Curry and, and my career. We're also going to be talking about yes, the yes, yes. of we certain positions, certain like cuts. It's going to be a great episode. It was amazing um, to watch him, bro. No, we have not upgraded to animation. No. We don't have a whiteboard yet. The whiteboard was sent to Los Angeles. I'm recording this in Brooklyn. So you're stuck with the paper, guys. A few key concepts I just want to review before we get to our conversation. Just as a review from episode one, floppy is a catch and shoot play. Uh, it's very I mean, simple. Are floppy. You and you and On either side of the lane, there's two bigs. The point guard has the ball up top. <laughs> And the two you know that, huh? the basket. That's how I used to the get open every time y'all can come out. Y'all start oh, over. I was, play. I was. <laughs> in the context of this conversation, <laughs> that's why I remember it the most. It's funny because LeBron yeah, Kyle I was Kyle running that ball with LeBron, so Kyle, Kyle Corbin. 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 Corner splits. I was getting Think open. The Help Sacramento Kings with Alita Chris Webber and Roddy Divac as the passers: Mike Bibby, Peja. Bobby Jackson. It was tough. Christy, it was tough, bro. Those guys as the shooters. Like you got to off ball this, man. Uh, more okay, example, on the floppy, if you uh, off ball. Was when he was in you, Minnesota. Like, you got to off ball Kyle Corbin. Kevin Love. Okay, if you see Kyle Corbin going on the, 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 the basketball two screen, you knew, oh, Cash is going to try to pass it over here. But if I see you off ball go over there and try to guard him, I'm just going to go get some CPU and drive. Well, the brown top, bro, I was smooth. pointed out that the defensive players are supposed to be the X's. And the offensive players are supposed to be the O's. Here's the thing. I've only had one coaching job in my life, and that is coaching eight, nine, and 10-year-olds. Now, when you coach eight, nine, and 10-year-olds, it can be very confusing to have X's and O's on the court. So I decided to draw X's because they all thought the O looked like a basketball, and that confused them. So for me, I draw my offensive players as X's. All right, corner split. There is a wing player. In a corner, the ball handler a brings it up a side. In this look, case, we're going to bring it up the left side. They're going to talk, gonna talk and as, big, as if. I.e. Vladi Diva. <laughs> just two Kevin Love, pro players pl Chris talking. Weber you know what I mean? Just somewhere in the vicinity yeah, of the yeah, elbow that's how, that's or high post area. Uh, you can occupy the weak side in a number of ways. Have a guy in the corner. Have a guy high. You can have a guy in the corner or have a guy in the dunker spot. Because I don't love the dunker spot, we'll put the other guy in the high quadrant. Point guard brings it up. He would hit the big, uh, Chris Weber, Vladi Dibac, at the high post. He then goes into split action. And as a reminder, split action is just when two offensive players go to screen for each other off the ball. And again, they can cut, they can curl, they can set a back screen or a rip screen. A rip screen is the same thing as a back screen. Oftentimes, again, the meaning is in the word. If I was to say, I'm going to go set a back screen for you, where would I screen your defender, I would screen his back. That's the same thing as a rip screen. So in this case, this is Peja, this is Mike Bibby. Uh, Mike Bibby can go set a down screen for Peja. Peja has a number of options here. He can curl to the basket, he can back cut, he can chase the basketball, he can come for a dribble handoff. Uh, in this case, let's say Mike Bibby sets a great screen, Peja just comes off, Vlade hits him, he hits a wide open jump. That's corner splits. All right, spread, pick, and roll. 
All that means is there's nobody in the double spot. It's a lot. All five players oh are spread across the Yes, board. baby. We didn't even get to LeBron um, talking yet, man. where the pick and roll is located. Let's That's why I said, bro, I wish, you know, rest in peace, Cove. I wish Cove would drop some, corner. like, like um, well, another right NBA player, player like so this. You know what I mean? Like, side, they, 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 so they talk so passionate. This guy in the and I know Kobe would have had him. And then... Very good articulation. How you look at that? Everyone is spread he out. Like that thing Nobody is down, inside the uh, paint. The opposite is uh, yeah, uh, yeah, by themselves. Uh, I remember that. This guy will eliminate him. We never like real seen him sit down and podcast talk. That you know? is no longer a spread pick and roll. Even Jordan got, Jordan got his document. Five out, out delay. You know? uh, again, the meaning is in the word five out. Five outside of the three point line. Park. That's what's going on right now. <laughs> in the Rick, too. That's what's going on I right now, man. One of the biggest. If you can't shoot, everybody give you a look like. I don't think you can make this NBA. work. <laughs> no longer see how dominant you is down two there. people. Yeah. To either block. As you did for a long time in the NBA. You still see it some in college. You certainly see it some in high school. Five out is how most NBA teams play. It's not necessarily a play as it is a set and a concept. So for the purposes of this, let's say it's off a miss. Everybody's sort of run. You get two guys in the corner, one guy on the wing, ball handler bringing it up, and then the trail guy who got the rebound man, over look, and took we, it hey, out I'm be is running down GG. the center. Everybody okay. knows, man. Within that, the parks. you can get to is a number of options. Parks. You can play <laughs> is it two key rigs. Here. Everybody in NBA the Celtics love it. Away, uh, the Phoenix Sun, the number one team. Yeah, it's in the word. Two yeah. players, they stagger <laughs> one screen. Two Everybody going to get a chance to uh, shoot you this thing, man. You can run away action. Away That's action. how Pazinga scores so much. You go away from the basketball, you screen away. Like this, boom. But this is with killing the Phoenix, screening though. for me. That's Brooke Lopez screening what? for Kyle Korver. I feel That's like, man, it's too much action. ISO ball, bro. A lot of teams yeah, it is. will hit the five man, though, at the top. And then they will get into split action. Delay is just another name for five out. Again, because I've got a white piece of paper, not a whiteboard, I can't go over every single option out of this. But... This is the essential idea of five out or delay. Okay, the short roll, this is one of the most important concepts in today's NBA. Uh, it's a big part of this conversation as well. Uh, let's just go back to that spread pick and roll, okay? So within that it's spread pick and roll, the five man <laughs> is going to set Everybody a got screen got a for the ball handler to get oh, to his right man. Okay? And let's say the help side is here here, strong side, strong side, ball side, is there, the big is up in the pick and roll, and the guards and the, and the defender of the point guard is right there. As this guy comes off, they put two on the ball. The short roll is essentially the area between, call it the restricted area and the three-point line. So at any point in time, if you get the ball to the five-man in this area, that forces a reaction from the defense. Now, this guy almost always will pull over as the low man. <sighs> JJ, man. He's the lowest like, guy. It's, on it's the a floor. lot, though. He's the low man. That's it's a lot to download, <laughs> man. This guy has I see why teams are just running that. Sometimes we'll bro. drop. We're running, we're yeah. running three, one of three things. And he man. will essentially this have responsibility tough, on these bro. two guys. Once Five the ball out, is in this area, this is roll, the short roll ice. area. Anywhere, the again, between restricted and right, three-point so line. We cooking this the podcast, short roll area are you, are you is where this? today's no. big man <laughs> makes <laughs> plays. A lot of guys are not shooting necessarily right here. They're not short rolling. I know, bro. It's it like, hey, it a back and forth, Brian. Thing. Shoot a JJ, I mean, I, I, hey, this is a lot of, this, this is a lot of good knowledge. This pass, I'm gonna be pass real. to this cutter hey, washboard, or to spray out <laughs> to this man for a three. You want me to use my? I, you want me to use? Another concept you want me to believe that is already cut. there? Just I need to, to see. Clear, I need to see. The slot is difference. another word for the high quadrant. It's another word for man. Hey, bro. Oh man. Pick and roll. The slot. Is considered the guy on the wing. You it's a lot corner, more people who corner, just played basketball without the play. So this would be the slot. Like and right then he explained it. Everybody position. Everybody's job. I'm not everybody. 
I'm telling you, like the center only watching, he only paid attention to what the center reacts. Me as a guard, I'm I'm like, okay, so that's where I would be at. Yeah, yeah. The ball in this area, paint, the rim, whatever, go dunk the basketball. Now, you can also, let's say you're posting the ball here. You can have a slot cut out of the post. A slot cut is just a cut from this slot area. Thank you guys again for watching, for listening. LeBron and I have really enjoyed recording these episodes, talking basketball, and I hope you guys have learned something and enjoyed it as well. Appreciate you. This is episode three of Mind the Game Evolution. I'm going to really get in detail just now. <laughs> you could tell LeBron on the left with the beard. Come on, man. Cheers. The beard. Very much enjoyed the first episode. Absolutely. I'm going to ask you a question, and I we can edit this out if need be. This is just, I just want to get the conversation started this way. Oh, that's great. Because we were just talking about young guys, and I felt towards yeah, the LeBron end of my career, career once right, I had cool. figured the league out, Gotta keep the thing up there. Again, okay, oh, figure the I mean, like I had to die. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Not like extra tight, extra spitted, extra strong um, strings. But once I figured the league out, come I with felt the like comp- I probably got a compressing thing. You pull it hard enough, it's gonna compress the whole hair down. But hey, cut the do rag off after you that. Got a thousand do you sense that? Yeah, absolutely. What are I the mean, I'm gonna be real with you. Where you say this guy's you can't eat for no matter how many you make, make some stuff you take from your childhood. It's gonna be what you do life. This do rag is LeBron's thing. It's too hey, yeah. if I'm being if I'm being it's trill, true. man, you know, I'm being true. real. The do rag thing, top. bro, I think after like twenty five, I let it go. What what it did wait, but he sported good. Almost almost look. It's giving it's giving people over twenty five hope with this. It is. Just keep on coming with it. So I want to see dude, how much I can. Not gonna, not gonna rock it. Just okay. keep on, keep on, because I'm, I'm absorbing everything. That's when you know, like, oh, he's. Yeah, his barber's good. Too cool. I know them grades exist, but I don't see him. His barber too nice. One his of the things that I always noticed was, um, and I wasn't perfect, perfect at this. Right, he don't. My, hey, when I he was don't like wear. A rookie, okay. Especially. Bro, the only time he had without a cap is when he got his suit on. Meaning. Once we step on the court, or I'm not when he's scared right, on the court, right, right, right. but there's when an element of fear. On? Like, oh. I, I need to be oh, okay. in the training room on time. Yeah, yeah. I need to do all the lifts yeah. that my strength coach is telling Absolutely. me to do. If my PD guy, player development guy, my PD guys telling me to be on the court at 10 o'clock for an 11 o'clock practice, that guy's there at 9:55 ready for to go. Sure. It's 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 like the small stuff. Yeah, it's the small stuff. It is the small stuff. Uh, we are recording this on. Thursday, opening day of the NCAA tournament, official opening day. I do not count the play in. Yeah, I don't I don't count the play in. Not because not because I've been in the play in a couple of times now as an NBA player, but I do not count the play in. <laughs> I don't get it's like it's not official because you're no. still playing into the tournament. Yeah. Um, and your high school coach just got a big win about an hour ago. Yes, he did. What what did you learn from him? Oh my goodness. Um Hey, I bro, think the I number one thing that high school I coach, bro, learned is, from him uh, right away pivot of his, of his is NBA career, man. Like, it helped so much, man. I, before he talk about it, man, I don't want to pause because it ain't long, but I feel like LeBron, bro, like, his basketball, bro, it went for that basketball coach, man, in high school, bro. I don't feel like that he would have had, like, the basketball coaching skills he got now. You know how he able to, you know, basically run a team, mm-hmm. you know? Because, man, Jordan didn't have that, man. Nah, Jordan was by himself in the gym, bro. He was by himself. Also yeah, yeah, yeah LeBron did grow with them boys, man. And it was sharing everything, too. Sharing. Coaching. That's good coaching. That is great coaching. Exactly. The AAU tournaments that I was playing in beforehand. Um, I got to coach Dan Brock my ninth grade year. So my first year at high school, first of all, back to the fear thing. When you go from middle school to high school, you're already terrified of what lies ahead. You don't know what to expect. You know, obviously, you, you know, in Ohio, you Watch went sixth, man. seventh, and eighth in middle school. So, so you have that feeling coming out of elementary two, going seven. to the middle school. You ain't got to go crazy grade, You have that fear of Batman all games the people in, in school. <laughs> yeah, you probably got a button. How is it going to affect you and things of that nature? Then you, you go to high school and you see kids with beards and, you know, teachers, they just look so much more massive. You you know, and um, 
And I'm going to a, a, a coach that is a former college basketball coach. And you hear the stories. I mean, you know them firsthand probably, or maybe you don't because you were great. So you maybe had to have to do everything. But, uh, you know, I heard, you know, the stories of like, you know, 5 a.m. wake-ups to go run the mile or, you know. This was your high school coach? This is my high school coach. This is my high school coach. This is my high school coach. You hear the stories of like, you know, one mistake, everyone's going to run until the coach gets tired. And in my head, I'm like, how in the hell does a coach get tired if he's not running? So you're like terrified of all of this. You know, so the one thing back to your question that I learned from Coach D is that um, we're going to practice perfection every single day. Every single day, he always used to tell us, the game, uh, the practices are going to be way freaking harder than the games. And you don't understand that. Bro, time coach geez, you don't bro, that, that's, that's, that's a universal, that's a universal <laughs> practice word right there. Way uh, more hard than the games. Term right there, get on the that means the game's you know, going to come easy to you, bro. As a basketball yeah, player, get on the Damn, line. Damn, bro. But he was, um, he was super strict. He was super demanding. He would get in your face, call you out of your name. There were kids whose parents used to come to practice that he would call them out of their names right in front of their parents. My sophomore year, my freshman year, we win the state championship. We go 27 and 0. Damn, man, that's crazy. I was MVP of, of the tournament. Uh, obviously, Maverick was our captain uh, my freshman year. How? My sophomore year, the first practice, I was. Uh, Came in as projected number one player in the state of Ohio. I was projected to be All-American as a sophomore. Projected to be Mr. Basketball as a sophomore, which had never been done in Ohio high school uh, history. And the first practice we had our sophomore year at the winning state championship, I did absolutely nothing wrong coming out of football. He kicked me out of practice. <laughs> he kicked me out of practice. I had no idea why the fuck he kicked me out of practice. And I think he was just setting the tone for the season. Yeah. Like, wherever the fuck or wherever you think you are, I, Damn, yeah, I've heard all of this stuff about face. how great you I know, are. I know, I know, I know, I know Brown, look. look full full, right full hit of hair, man. Look, look pick, right pick in there. And I just led the team in one last thing. Best sophomore in the country, my ass. But guess what? I'm going to get the respect I need out of you. Because that hot head is not going to win the country, my ass. And kick me out of practice, bro. That's that's. I, I actually that's, think I had amazing coaching, level bro. of respect. So I played varsity as a freshman. Damn, but actually, bro. my school, middle school, was sixth through ninth grade. Really? So I didn't even go to high school yet. So now, twenty-seven and so oh, was sixth what? through ninth grade. We didn't middle have space. School. High school. Oh, okay. High school. Okay. So okay. Year so, bro, after freshman. High school, right. 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 Into, they right. 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 I grew seven inches that year. Shit. I learned how to shoot without my left thumb. Yep. Started shooting a real jump shot. I go to AAU Nationals in Florida, I average like 35 a game. <laughs> so I'm coming into freshman year with a <laughs> decent level of confidence. And I knew my high school coach was tough because my JV coach was so tough. Yep. But I was brash and cocky. You know the kid you saw at Duke early yeah. on? Yeah. I was that kid. Yeah. Yeah. I was that kid. Yeah. And we were playing um, preseason. We were just, like, doing pickup. So we would do these stations where you had, like, 30 seconds to a minute on. So 30 seconds to a minute on wall sits. Yep. 30 seconds to a minute on D slides yep. with bands. Yep. 30 seconds to a minute on jumping jacks with yep. weight. Like, all this stuff. And we'd do that for, like, 30 to 45 minutes. And then we'd, we'd play pickup. So there was this, this senior named Kevin Conley. And, and he, uh, he, was, he was good. But I also played his position. And he hadn't started the year before, so he was, like, very much wanted the starting position. Yeah. So we were playing pickup, and uh, truthfully, Kevin, I was busting your ass. I was busting his ass. No take. Hey. And he said, and I started yapping off. Yeah. And he said to me, he said, I'm going to tell you right now, shut the fuck up. Damn. And he gave me the look. Mind you, I'm, I'm my size, but 155 pounds. <laughs> so I, I was like, oh, he's going to kick my ass. And I didn't say anything. We checked the ball up. As soon as somebody passed it, he just... Pop me in the, in, in the face, right? My jaw still pops to this day. <laughs> Damn! Pretty much from that day on, I had a healthy level of fear for high school. 
a healthy level of fear. <laughs> do you uh, do you think there's anything for you? I know for me, like I play for Coach K. Yeah, yeah. I, I play for right. a great high school. Bust his ass, bro. Bust his ass, bro. How important that was since last time. White boy here. Do you think for you there was anything transferable? White boy here. He is shooting the roof off this bitch. To what? You about to get some play time. Oh man! The no, I play on the court. On the court, being a, pop, being a player. Pop. On the court. Nah, we both hooping. No. <laughs> totally different game. Um, it was a totally different game, but the the nuance and the and the fundamentals and you know the things that was being that was being taught to me as an 18 year old, I I, I kind of had already knew a lot of that shit. I mean, it's. It's weird to kind of say, because you feel like when you get to the NBA, you're going to learn so much more, which I eventually did, you know, and I think that just came with, like, we always talk about, you experience. know, experience. Yeah. The best teacher in life is experience, you know, but when I when I got to the NBA, the biggest adjustment I had was literally just going from, like, oh, shit, I don't have to go to class every day, you know, um, I, you know, I'm going from 27 game season to now 82. So like, oh shit, like after 27 games in the NBA, you know, around about 32 games, I'm like, I'm exhausted. You know, so now like what 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 can I do to get the get the energy back going? But as far as when I stepped out on the floor, there wasn't too much of an adjustment. Um, I felt like I was physical um, yes. <laughs> enough. I felt like I oh, had yeah. the size. Oh, yeah, way had the speed, more obviously. physical enough, though. I had the athleticism, obviously. Um, you know, you have the, you know, some of the vet tricks and things of that nature, how to get away with certain things that I had to kind of learn and whatever the case may be. But, um, and then I was thrown around with many positions my rookie year, too. Like, at one point, I was, I was a two guard at one point. You know, my first game in Sacramento, I was coming off floppies. Oh, we'll get to that in a bit. Yeah, I remember that, bro. Remember yeah, the LeBron was shooting the thing, you know, bro? We, we do we make a change or whatever. Now I'm the point guard. He, his, it's like, um, you know, the game where which is had, one just natural like position for me, but also not a natural position. Yeah. Like, I love the pass. He ran off floppies. He was. I love to bring the ball up. But I've never really started at the point guard position. So it's still very different. Different. But um, That's true. He did come in as a I was able to just... We all know he's the greatest small ball. Seamlessly, and then he kind of just two. move right on in. He did good at two, though. And I'm heavy yeah, enough to go play the four. Um, that's just a blessing. With the tournament going on right now, have you? <laughs> I rewatched episode one, and I, you talking about uh, not going up to Ohio State for parties, or down to Ohio State for parties. I was like, all right. I wonder if he ever thought to himself this time of year, man. I wonder what it's like to play in March Madness. Absolutely. Yeah, Doug, you he, he knows that we're doing his mind. As a young, young, you're still thinking about it yeah. every year. Yeah. He would have This is the only time, though. I tell you what, he would have the parties, man. He wouldn't have. Basketball, but you haven't experienced that. <laughs> yeah. This is the only time. March Madness, Madness right now is the only time. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. I think about playing college yeah. basketball. Come on, Finn. Talk years. to me. I mean, he goes to the I don't watch much college basketball. This year, I watched a ton of it. It's LeBron with the college. You know, so I was there watching the parties, bro. I think the party would come to him. It's just. Exactly. I think all. It doesn't translate for me. It frustrates me. My How much did it be to get it, but it'd be on a lot like, more man, rocky roads, boy. So I try to stay away from it, but <laughs> I, I mean, it. I'm it's LeBron. Basketball. Come on. I, I am Ohio. Yeah, I'm but turning I, the school I, up. I Come on. We came in here. Like you said, Duquesne won their game. Big shout out to the Dukes, Coach, Coach D, our best friend, Drew Joyce. Right after the game, I was watching Illinois versus uh, Moorhead State scouting because that's where they play next. Mm. And you're going to give them notes? Already did. <laughs> I already sent notes already. I got to watch like a quarter, uh, third, third, three fourths of the game before we started, and I've already sent notes. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a junkie, man. Yeah, I, 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 I'm well aware of that. <laughs> well aware. I want to talk about spacing today. <laughs> Do you, you? You mentioned coming off floppy. <laughs> Yeah. In that Sacramento game, your very first game. Yeah. Do you do you specifically remember your two first first two baskets of your career? I remember my first one. Okay. My my first basket was coming off a of floppy action, and I faded to the corner by our bench. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's really a memorable for the boys. Yeah. 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 A lot of the boys, yeah. like, I see a lot of kids, a, a lot of players, players they, they, they really fun. remember their first bucket, bro. That's hilarious. Yeah. On that one, mm-hmm. you came off. But that crowd went crazy, though, when he did that, too, Took the one dribble base. These nowadays. And booze after he set the screen. Kind of backed Bucket, up into yeah, the dunk. pocket around yeah. the Yeah, LeBron like, shot that thing, man. Space. A little space. On the Let Richard one, Hamilton right there coming out there, man. And Ricky Davis hit you at the elbow. And I had the screen <gasps> on my phone. Look at that fade, 50. On the left smoother. block. It did. Yep. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a, that right fade did look smoother, bro. Darius Miles spotting up from about 17 Can't feet jump that like that no more. at the no, right man, wingish, <laughs> but not really space. Not really space. I gotta give you some and then Ricky now. Davis is just standing there at the top. That shit look like the it's first image of 2K9. The pixels is horrible. I can't make out nobody's name on the back of the jersey. fall away going left. Yeah. Guess when did you start to feel like the spacing was changing in the NBA? Um. You know, that's a, that's a good question. I'm, I'm trying to think. I, I think the spacing started to change in the NBA. Phoenix Suns. I think. I think Stan Van Gundy had a lot to do with it. That's Stan Van Gundy. You know, now that I think about it, I'm, and I'm thinking because I'm in the, I was in the East, and obviously, um, no, you know, they, 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 they had a lot of spacing, you know, in Sacramento in the early 2000s, but it. It wasn't a lot of space. Maybe they just had some shooting. Yeah, Obviously, it, I mean, Mike Bibb could shoot the ball. You know, uh, really you know Peja was shooting the ball. They ran corner splits. Yeah, they ran corner splits. For the Sacramento team, I only remember like two shooters you know, in the start. Vladi, you know, could play the elbow, could play the corner, could hit the three and three. Barbosa. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Barbosa was fighting up. Sean Mary, the ugly shot going to the corner. Bro, Amar stuttered mouth, fighting it up. The middies, might as well, man. Everybody's doing it. Oh, man. Everybody's doing it. kind of range. They started to I change just it Nash a lot, bro. you know. Um, I hadn't seen that much space because I played he against the Detroit pretty, Pistons, man, and obviously you had you, know, you had Rip on the I trusted it every time he left his hand. I was like, I would get the crest, and I'm like, damn, that's good. I know it is. is. Yes. Look how pretty yeah. it is. I know what's going in. But with Stan, I like, boy, know what he's doing, man. What he had in Dwight, he didn't shoot enough. He just did. He didn't shoot enough. To like, I want nothing but space. You can tell he shot a lot though in practice. Yes, yes, he shot thousands. Got on that team. Get in the game and shoot three. Yeah, it didn't make no sense. Then added Jameer. You know, and added just a bunch of space, you as well, <laughs> and you as well. Like, took a while. Yeah, you know, it took a while, to, a while. To, to use your your, your, your really superpowers. Terrible. I tell you that. <laughs> no, it it took a while to be born again. Oh, it would be so. So you mean to tell me all I got to do is pass the ball and shoot threes? You know, um, that's what Trey was doing. Ray Allen was on Boston. You know, at what? It wasn't, hey, man, it wasn't a lot of space out there. Bro. KG was posting up. Rondo was not a shooter. Tony Allen wasn't a shooter. Right. You know, PP was, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. was a three-level scorer. Um, but they were playing two know, bigs a lot of times. they were playing two bigs a lot. You know, if it was KG and, and Perk or KG and Big Baby or whatever the case may be. You know, Detroit was still playing two bigs even when Ben went to Chicago. You know, they brought in um, like they brought in Chris Webber. Um, you know, so they were playing two bigs as well. You know, I feel like, you know, Miami was still playing two bigs. They was playing Shaq when he was there, <laughs> with, along with Udonis and, and, and Zoe. Watch, Zoe came man. back. Come on, man. I feel like the Orlando, oh, man. Black. Orlando kind of was the, AP the first. Watch, man. I, think, I don't say that the first. That thing is dancing on Yeah, I think the, pre, the, the, first, pre, but, the precursor was definitely, in my opinion, the Suns, right? Yeah. The Suns were the first. That's what you said. With Antoni. With Dan Suns, Suns, I'm telling you, bro. At four, yeah. Amari at the five. Come on, y'all. Come on. He wasn't a Come in casual all you want, man. Spitting facts, though. Speed that it creates space. I'm trying to find out the price of that watch, They're, they're, we're going to get to this in a second. pace. We're going to get to this in a second. Yeah. But. It's funny because with the, with the magic, yeah. I'm not sure that that was the intention. Fifth, the right. ultimately may have what? played out that right, way. Right, 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 right. But Tony Batie heard a shot. Oh man! The preseason. Mm. And, On the watch. Uh, we tried Turk at the four. Right. In, you know, the, you know the, the deal preseason the games, games. Right. and he refused. Three hundred K sitting on his man wrist, man. Yeah, yeah. This is an expensive ass conversation. Rashard as a as a good teammate. And I and I had the nerve earlier to be like, he ain't really got much to do. He's like, he's like, fuck it, I'll do it. And I don't see the chains of the earrings and then I don't need all that. Guys in '09. I need this in the ring. That's it. And by the way. If you know, you know. <laughs> that's what that, that's the one. That's what they say. Because, because I'm LeBron, second man. Like, quarter, I, bro, what like, you think I got? Quarter of <laughs> <the game too. laughs> but I, I wear a jersey every day. Awesome you, when, I, when I get to relax, what you think I got on? I got on a hoodie and a three hundred thousand dollar watch and a hoodie. It's my chill day. 
it. I don't want to see no you step it out, man. You Come on, bro. I don't want to see no, it. I don't, don't want to see it, man. Too many boogers to see the time. <laughs> the whole season, man. we geared our team up to play Boston. I'm curious, like, where they at, though? Everything they shot this was behind, geared to so. play Boston. I think this is how the setup Everything. is, bro. What is what, what is given to you? We never setup practiced like, uh, anything besides two bigs, a point guard, a small one, rushed, and a small small rushed. forward, and a shooter. Yeah, but I, I think that's the thing they want, bro. Because like the beginning of it, you know, they're man. talking behind and the it's scenes. Like, we've geared up all. I feel like they got a play going on on the other side of we that. Big <laughs> <laughs> that construction. With another play, myself, there's a play going on. Delonte, <laughs> like people and more actors. It's a curtain. You guys are out there. Hey, dude, the yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. He do. I'm, I'm, Jameer. Beatrice. Beatrice. Courtney Lee. Because, like, I don't know what they was going for. Like, you guys are out there, like, like what the league is tonight. Like, I mean, yeah. The like league a, to a, now is, like, I don't agree with, I, I, I don't agree with this podcast form. I, shooters. I, I love the podcast, but and a guy that the content. Scream, roll, But the man, setup. We couldn't do this in the brown garage, man. more with Dwight, because he could occasionally post up a small. Have a LeBron box with a jersey on, like, just posing or something. Some. Some posters, I, I mean, some, something, a, a, a basketball goal. Jordan would have had this, man. Yeah. No, I mean, he's not coming. Rings. He's not coming to the point. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Ring, he's short. <laughs> each, each, each robot holding one ring. Six Everyone's six of them out there. The if you can shoot threes off the dribble. I love you, Jordan. Right? <laughs> but also just for the offense. Now, all what? Sudden, you're forced what are we talking about? In a Jameer Nelson, Dwight Howard pick and roll. He do Turkaloo. Yeah. That, hey, that motherfucker. Nice. Who, right Jameer? Jameer? Jameer Nelson and the Dwight Howard in the... Uh, Turkaloo? Turkaloo? Man, shoot. that thing was dangerous, so we bro. Go back to the finals, man. Yep. Yeah, bro. We have a shooter in the left corner. Yep. Turk uh, going to his right hand. Yep. Dwight rolling. I was like, I, bro, I couldn't shooters. believe this season for the Where match. I was like, is that big ball really that much a problem? He was. going to burn you. Bro, he, you it, it was like he, it, it, it was like a mini shack, man. One or two fouls off the elbows. Look, man, my team gonna fire these threes, and He's I'm gonna, gonna get the board. You, the but you know how this much confidence like you shoot with, bro? Super duper. If you got that down there, the I rewatched Game Five the other bro, day. Bro, we could do shit. I've never watched the series. I I never seen him with a bad game. We could imagine, bro. About that series specifically, because this is what I remember, and I was like, I'm gonna go watch. What was the series? Four two. Four two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Four two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't talk to the media every game, kids. I was pissed. I was pissed. I took a shower and got shot on the bus. I remember that now. Yeah, I was pissed. Game five, I, I was watching the fourth quarter. Literally your offense. You didn't match up Hunt. For the first part of the, the fourth quarter, you had uh, two bigs mm -hmm. in the dunker spot, either dunker spot. You had Mo or Delante. At one point, it was Wally Zerbiak spotting up. Yeah. And you would post up Mikel Petrus at like 19 feet and then try to go one-on-one. -on -one. It was really interesting to watch that versus spread pick and roll with shooting and spacing. Yeah, it was like, really interesting. Like, and by the way, how the fuck is by, he functioning with by this? By the way, I'm, this, is not, this is not like a knock on Mike Brown at all. Right. Like, I'm not saying that. It was just what we were doing was so different at the time. Yeah, and it wasn't and that's like when LeBron the didn't have the nice like, oh, ass fade to too, man. Like it Orlando was Orlando did. Right, his fade wasn't all that good, I'll you know. Never this game. We so played it was, it was just, against it was the Minnesota Timberwolves. I've seen it just arena. now. It was self and That's when we had Ryan Anderson and Richard. Kobe would have hit those and right there. You know? we would get to our <laughs> that, that too much space, bro. And it did But yeah, LeBron did. He did develop that nice ass fade back then, man. So they killed him. They would tag Dwight with Kevin. Turgaloo. It's money. No matter where he was. So he if he's the high guy, day, he's taking little, him all the way to the rim. On the double side, they're, they're tagging him <laughs> at the rim. And Ryan and Rashard are just sitting Turn there. Team kind of you, uh, it's bizarre. It's super bizarre. I'm not going to gas you up. I'm not going to gas you up. I'm going to say one thing, though, real quick. <laughs> you averaged I got 38. I got, his, eight, I got his face. And eight in that team, series. You know, I, I don't know. Oh, with that traded, offense. Got traded. And that spacing. With no space. <laughs> with no space. With no space. It was wild. It is what to think back on. Like I said, I have not watched that series since it happened. And to think that I damn near average 48 and 8 in a series with no space is. And I'm obviously, if I caught. Did he just a say 48? Heater, eight, I can make eight, a couple yes. of threes in a row, whatever. It is, but that wasn't, well, that wasn't my yeah. thing. That wasn't my thing. I lived in the paint, ran the post. You didn't have your signature move then? I didn't have my signature move. Told you, man, I, 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 bro, 50, I'm no. You're a real fan, kid. You're a real, you're one of the crazy, bizarre ones. 
<laughs> he didn't have oh it, bro. Oh, God. Yeah, bro. I respect it, though. It, it, if I was, cool. uh, I would shoot fadeaways oh, for boy, no reason. Timeline. He didn't have it then. I would be off <laughs> didn't have it for no reason. I, I would make shots more difficult he for did, no did, reason. He did. And I'd envy guys that can go straight up and down or could, like, shoot the same shot every time. And it was just discipline. I was so athletic that I could will myself. I, I there's like sometimes there's like old clips of me that I watch. That really is my timeline on social. That's a thing. No, well, hey, hold on. That is a thing, Kev. Well, it's okay. I, I'm so athletic. I, I really don't know what it You no, think no. Derrick Rose would have ever created a fadeaway jump shot? And look up LeBron well, get, James highlights. Y'all gonna watch? Y'all gonna watch me run past y'all for ten years until my knees go out? That's why. I'm telling you. That's why. You've never gone on YouTube. Yes, I have. Of course, I tell them. I said from time to time they come through. Y'all live with it. Especially, oh, by the way, Yonis. the number one reason live with you do this, that man. I'm just is when you hit like a little slump or whatever. Rack, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not kidding. I don't got this far in life doing this. Is Think about this. Place no, come on, man. And I got, and I got a ring already. I'm only developing a shot just because you know, don't leave me open open now. Yeah, it's disrespectful. Come on. I am an NBA. We've all done it. Yeah, we've all been there for sure. We've all done it. Um, yeah, but uh, I, I feel LeBron on that statement he said to my, yeah. he got focused on case so athletic, you know, just, I mean, I'm going to put it in like in terms of like, just me, about like when I, when I go role, hooping, mm-hmm. I, 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 I'll practice, you know, me, you, decision you to hoop. sort of move mm-hmm. him to I go five, practice which, shooting by the way, was not in right a game, no, I never shot, mm-hmm. I'm going to the like, rack every time. Was there yeah, pushback on that? It's just more efficient, Do you remember? especially got somebody who does it better, he shoots better than you. Let's just get him open. It's just a more you know, smart decision. Let him was, do that. Was there. Yeah. Joel Anthony that's, was there. Yeah. That's the smart way to play the game. Uh, my first year, Big Z was there and Eric Dampier. And Eric Dampier. That, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to tell you when it all changed. Obviously, my first year there, you know, played great basketball. Got all the way to the finals. We talked so finals. much, though. Some of the game been, I played been like missed, shit. but... He made a statement um, to my he envy some guys who can have the exact same basically is the like, reason exact same form every single time. We were a basically basically team. what I was trying to say, right? Mm-hmm. And our team was wow. more no, we properly. Bro, oh, okay. Le- yeah, because LeBron's shot changed that summer, multiple times. He went times. to Oregon and hung out with Chip Kelly. Oh, interesting. I think with him he, is he, he always trying to we lost to Dallas. Like he, he always, we still, he always to trying to find Oregon a touch. And hung out with Chip Kelly. And learned to spread couple, offense nah, fuck, and tried to spread. figure out. If he <laughs> you know, like, to to I, I, I got tired of be shooting seven more of these to, to zone in and find it, man. The super we need points right now. Chip had. I, I, I tell but you I what, why he been on legs and jump shot, big. It, 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 it been the same. He didn't change it. Up. One. I don't see no changes in it. I have right, been getting but like he, ten times better than I was when he got like. Finals. Older in his age, but Chris Bosh had to go to the I'm finals. I'm gonna make sure I got this thing down pat by yeah. 35. CB being 35, I'm gonna go ahead and have this thing is. just in case. And there it's was been no coming in clutch for him. There was no pushback. It do got that wear and tear he on the back though. I've been seeing him in order with for us to reach our potential. Bench. That yeah, CB would have to go man. to the five, and we had to spread. We had to. He had to start working on his corner three faithfully every day after practice. Corner three every day after practice. We're going to post you up. We're going to get you your elbow catches. Offense going to run through you at times. But in order to bring, you know, the Tyson Chandlers out of the paint, in order to bring the Roy Hibberts out of the paint, in order to bring Tim Duncan out of the paint at times, in order to bring Kevin Garnett out of the paint, you got to hit these corner threes. Yeah, you got to let that monster go to the lane. <laughs> we got... And... Spoiled, we spoiled gotta him. split this that, thing up. <laughs> That's why they made him find that jumper. That's had to because in Toronto, hello, unacceptable. Toronto, uh, Chris Bosh, I told myself the he way had I more played, catch unacceptable. Post game. He was a, a he came kind back of with put the offense and I was initiated all, to get people I, involved. I was he was the main thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was. He was. Had a question about the Bosh spacing, but because we see, see, touch his ball. I need to go up. I need you to be shooting with the heat. Yes. Oh, yes. Did you shoot lowest? Hit, bro. I love this free throw shot, man. What is it? The Bosh spacing. What did that sort of unlock? I'm curious. Like what were the options? Yeah. What, what, what was the, the, the two-man game? Wade and yeah. LeBron were the crazy on that rim. Cutting. My big is slot sitting cut, out the there, cuts. and you got to go meet him? The slot cuts. The slot cuts. It unlocked the slot cuts. It unlocked exactly what myself and D-Wade thrive on. Dribble penetration, slot cutting. Mm-hmm. Pick and roll happens, you tag, slot cutting. Yeah. It, it unlocked all that. And, and we all know how great D-Wade is on the baseline. It's hard to come Amazing. When X5 is standing there. Kobe, the bro. Time. He was because on Kobe level of base, baseline. I'm talking about that young Kobe. 
You know, so you know, you, know, you hit me on the pocket. He was pass working now. that baseline. You know, I get the pocket pass from from Chalmers or, or from Norris Cole. You know, and now Bosch oh, is in the strong corner. Oh man, way open a couple of times too, man. Are it's you going to leave him or not? If you do, I'm going to tag you. And if not, when I roll, now you got X three or X two tagging on the He was stupid at black too. He had it working on the top faster than everybody here. And I jumped high. Why I need to be shooting like that? To the three point line, and you were slashing right behind him. It just it unlocked a, yeah, so much for our offense, so. and it gave yeah, he myself did, he a D Wade did. in transition. We had this thing called the Mack truck lane. So from basically from the block to the block. So San Francisco, we sitting on the free throw line. Yeah, you got one block on one side, one block on this I side. I can picture a basketball court. Yeah, we do it for the viewers. <laughs> I'm not questioning JJ's expertise. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. First day of training camp, we had that whole thing taped off. The bigs were not allowed to run in between the Mack truck lane. From the first day of training camp all the way to game one. It makes sense. Oh, yeah. Basically, like a five and out right there. You're not yes, allowed the whole week. And, and if I'm bringing Especially we got Bosch out there shooting it. big is behind me, he can't cross the court. He has to run wide behind. This is all. This is all. Oh, my God. This is like, deadly. Mario he's, he's that good. It will come down to him sometime, man. Some oh yeah, Twitter and he will—he will make a count, bro. On this, he earned his minutes. Shout out to Mario Chalmers, man. But in my mind, when I think of five out or delay, I think of the Miami Heat with Chris Bosh. As maybe it wasn't the originator, but the first time I'm like, oh, this is this is different, and this is happening. Was the Miami Heat with Chris Bosh? Yeah. For and sure. it changed everything. It changed everything. Changed the whole team. Changed the whole team. You know, we added Ray. Shane. Added Shane. Added Mike Miller. We added the spacing. And CB could pass. He could rebound and push. There wasn't many fives at that time that was rebounding and pushing the break. True. You see it all the time now. Right. You see Bam. Yeah. Bam does it. Bam does it all the Yoke. time. Yoke, of yeah, course. Yeah, the MVP but, but... of the league. Yoke does it. It's like... CB was pushing the uh, break. Man. Okay, if he had nothing early in transit, it, it, oh, right to a DHO. Beautiful. He does on different lanes. Same, same. Level, man. Like, he's, he was a smart, he was just smart. But, I mean, obviously, when you move from one position where you're so dominant, you think of CB in Toronto where he mainly played the four. Almost, probably 95% of the time played the four and averaged 25 and 10 or 12. The ball exclusively went through him in the mid post. Every single time. On either block, really. Yeah. But it's it's remarkable that he changed that. Yeah, he changed that. The slot cut. Can you explain Bro, I have it, it? the timing? LeBron did this. The play, <laughs> how it works. We actually because another it, fact it, you way, did. <laughs> I just a, told you that my favorite play like two minutes it's ago. It's now you part of how every, run. like every team's I'll be delighted. vernacular. And yeah. Every team runs tell you it twice. now. It becomes programmed. Oh, man. Everybody's reads. What a cheesy off. smile. Yeah, and it's now, it, is, uh, it used to not be a live cut. I go back and watch college basketball, and there's so many fluff cuts or cuts that don't do anything. <clears throat> It's like, you say he got why his own, are you uh, making a cut shop, towards uh, the basket? And you're like, not even uh, looking at the damn uh, ball. Beer wash? What was it? Hair wash. You know, so. If Brian got a hair wash? The slot cut. Did. What did you was in Walmart? I started to make the yeah, slot cut when my brother said it, didn't took over for us. I was in the mall. Yeah, I was in the mall. My brother said LeBron play. got his own beer wash or something like that. It's called the shop. Mo Williams was one fast, quick motherfucker. Off pick and rolls. Another guy that could shoot the three off the pick and roll. Um. We would run angle. Mo Williams would have the ball left left slot. We would have a shooter in a strong corner going same side as him. And either Verjao or Z comes at the step up. You know what? Take that back. I'm sorry. No strong side shooter. Strong side shooter in the weak corner. Wait, what is Verjao doing? At three Only Mo's job was to Decoy. race to be. <laughs> Decoy. Face the big, get around the big, get around to the baseline. And at the same time, as soon as I would see Mo race the big to the baseline, Anderson, Verjao, or Z, a come set a rip screen for me, blind. The guy that's guarding me, and the corner man couldn't leave because it was a corner shooter. 
and I will slot cut at the same time. It's an easy clip. We can find that clip easy. And Mo would drop it to me. Um, I'm watching this burn. Yep, right and I would either dunk it home or finish it or whatever the case may be. Two we actually three. put that in one of our, that was one of our ATOs. And then when I got to Miami, I started to just see a lot of guys peaking. A lot of, a lot of guys with D-Way had a ball. Obviously, he attracted a lot of eyes. He's a driver, whatever the case may be. Instead of me standing out and shooting threes, which at times I wasn't always comfortable with shooting threes, I would see guys peeking, and as soon as I would see my guy turn his head, I would slot cut. This is part of the reason it's really hard to guard spread pick and roll. Yep. And we'll put the clips up as well. But Need that if man. Man. the X's here are the offensive player, right? Correct. And you're running this angle pick and roll. Correct. And let's say the big is in the drop. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the guard. This is the guard, right? Yep. So if this guard turns the corner here, yep. right, on the big, Damian Lillard does this better than anybody, especially yep, on the especially left. Going side. left. Yep. Especially going Go. left. Especially going left. Oh my oh. God. This guy Bro, what? has to make some sort of decision. Yep, he's coming to 2-9. This guy he's has to drop. get into an X position. Yes. And like, who the fuck is guarding this? The coach Nobody. on the other Nobody. side. Right. Nobody. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the position I'm in. He's a lot. setting up his defense so that don't happen. Yeah. yeah. Did you see how fast one. did happen though? Yes, it, it yes. happened so quick. Uh, the defense couldn't recognize it. Gold now you power forward is guarding my point I guard. I think of this cut. That's crazy. I think that, hey, bro, that, that, that's crazy. He turned that corner Which so fast. Is essentially same And the dude formation. who originally guarded me is, I'm stuck on the screen. Y'all pick up defense, or it's a bucket. Right. That's mm -hmm. crazy. All right. Bro, that is. So you put two on the ball on Steph Curry and Draymond Green. Which is the worst thing you can do. <laughs> right, right. This guy's going to have to be the low man. So Draymond rolls. Steph hits him right here. Mm -hmm. This guy Draymond drops. Somebody else. What's going to happen right here, LeBron? As That's Draymond Green economy. takes the dribble into the paint. <sighs> it's a lob. It's a lob. Every it's single lob. time. Every, single time. Every time, man. He did do this a lot. Oh, oh, they do this a lot. Bro, he averaged a double-double, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, I, bro Draymond had like... Bro, so he's having like at least that. five assists from just from that. So this this, this is where you give Draymond his flowers. It takes some IQ to play. to know because a lot of guys trying to score it off of that, bro. The problem is he's you more efficient. Bro. He got his jump way more efficient. Draymond's superpower offensively. Yeah. Draymond's superpower offensively is the four on three game. You put two on the ball. Now Draymond has his four bro, he better on tap three. The ball, man. And dude playing volleyball. I'm gonna have. Been. You could dial in the pass. How can you stop that? Now wigs and I can do a float. I can float that. Yeah, you don't know what it's gonna be. You don't know what it's gonna be, bro. And if you help up too early, there's going to be a lob, and that is demoralizing. And the number one thing, it's so much momentum, a half court lob. So much momentum. When we used to, t oh, that's the worst quarter I've ever seen. But I'm, I'm hey, going to do the same you formation. Real quick, the momentum the same too. That, that's a big so, factor like in it too. We used to teach what, momentum. Yeah, a half court, line, more, like live, bro. The, the war, bro. bro. That's mm -hmm. how the boys, bro. That's, right. bro, that's a cut. We would do like this drill. Crazy. I'm sure you did. Because the crowd was in them. So, they were going crazy. They'd be down by 12. They still going. It's because of them. I don't believe the 20 point leads no more. As this guy comes off, I don't think it's enough no more. Pulls over. Here's the basket. The low man pulls over. The guy drops. And the drill is always this. On 50 cal channel. This guy. The ball handler. LeBron came and take a look. And you would literally make an X. Yep. But nobody does that anymore. Yeah. They hit the short roll. Yeah. And the short rollers now in today's NBA. Like, if you're a big coming into the NBA right now, what's your player development program look like? It's as, literally as playing out of the short roll. Yeah, playing out of the short roll. Especially you're, if, if you you're Jared a, Allen, Jared Allen, yeah. for the last five years, what is he doing? Short roll. Short roll. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, especially with Darius Garland mm -hmm. and Donald right Mitchell. The line, right? They're going to attract so much, you have to be able to play yeah. out of the short roll. And when you play out of the short roll, it's not oh, for you to right. score. Yes, you have the ability to score, but you have to read the game. You have to read the game. Think about Chris Bosh, and it makes me think of Chet Holmgren a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's fair. You guys probably run different stuff, but in a way, 
what makes OKC so good is their ability to drive the basketball yep. and then kick and then drive the basketball and then kick. Yep. And they did this last year. Yep. This is how they played last year yep. when they were 42 and 40. Oh, yeah, my. It's a good lot of unselfish play right here, bro. Yep. Yep. And it unlocks everything. Yep. In the same back, way, I'm not LeBron comparing Chet to Chris Bosh. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Oh, look. it's still there? Oh, man. Come on, man. Batman. How do you maximize the offense? Batman. You need Chet on that team. For sure. No question about it. He, I see the two fumbles. He changes the, dyna the dynamic of everything. You know, they have... They have a, a I don't know, 50, man, because the, the both phones is facing up, so I don't think LeBron... Chet you know, takes the ball out. out. They send two guys to Everybody. the other end. Both of them sit in the corner. <laughs> and... Chet takes the Come ball. Come on, man. Nah, bro. Yo, nigga. Nah, right bro. He, right, yeah, he listen, he was drinking on, you know, tequila, you know. The X5 had one phone flip. To the, to the ball. You know, bombs up. You, you, would, you would suspect. Yeah, yeah I would suspect some foul play going on. That's your job. But both of them up, he clean. He clean, bro. He can go to the phone. Okay, see it's, now. It's an open invitation. Because there's another Third guy. in the back of that little back. Trying to load on Shay. There's a guard that's playing. Yo, he ain't even thinking it. I got up there. We like, so. Oh, he heard it vibrate. I mean, he felt he it vibrate, didn't he? He slammed the seven footer to the opposite slot. Oh, it must be time to change my back pad or something. <laughs> oh, you can't play that over Brett Savannah. Hey, baby, you can't pull my phone. You all in the middle of hand in the back with something. I'm not going to get back to you. I'm going to for it. But that's very difficult when you have a guy like Shay. <laughs> Gonna get to the line. Thing on vibrate mood. Uh, yeah, boy. Right. Yeah, yeah, boy. And Blame it on or, the back gadget, man. <laughs> That's funny. Who's now turned into a fucking gray's hat. He's a star. Oh, he's a star. He's a star. Bro. I told him too. I said, man. I said, boy, you you out here killing. He's like, man, I had a hell of a summer. Because he came to me and said, you know, my younger brother played against Bonnie last night. Because his younger brother goes yeah, to Colorado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cody. Yeah, Cody. And I was like. I said, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I said, man, you, hey, keep going, bro. You, you killing this shit. He was like, man, I had a hell of a summer. He's one of those guys. He's right now. Not many holes in his game. Right. He's pretty damn good mm -hmm. at nearly everything. We're talking about it, Tatum. He's one of those guys. Like, I ain't gonna lie to LeBron. They talk about Tatum, that's bro. It. <laughs> it's like in four or five years, you're like, oh no, no, that guy has no holes in his game. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Zero. I want to, before we talk more spacing, I want to touch on one last thing with the heat. And that is, I feel like in the NBA, this, the, the, the phrase super team or the, the term super team is, is a little bit, bit of a misnomer. Because you can have, you can have a big three right, you still need four or five ancillary role players sure. Absolutely. who star in their role and then complement the stars. You do? No question about it. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work unless you have those guys. It's just crazy, honorable boy, do not I've veto. Lived I've lived it. I mean, what obviously my, my first year Kobe in Miami. Yeah, we had a big ball to go play with. That yeah, says, is super crazy. Team. Super team and super team that. We ain't doing that. that but that's crazy. Team around Could you imagine the white house and Chris Paul on the same team? Which was still okay. Okay, well, I mean, look what's going on but now. We feel I know. The complimentary guys. It's enough. crazy, yeah, man. We had Rio. But that, we had Udonis. You know, but that would have been too early for the NBA. We didn't just have too enough early. Three as far star as studded enough complimentary guys to actually at the time on the same team. Hot man. Working. We still made it to the finals. We still made it to the finals, and we still probably should have won the finals, Kobe but I still give credit to you. Kobe. Listen, it is what it is. You, you win and you lose, and we lost. Take care. Everybody There's else. no doubt it's fucking crazy, good, man. and they hit a, they hit a strong. I don't think y'all understand that young Chris Dirk Paul was unbelievable. Like oh. Um, but my yeah, second year, people. we was able that to young Chris grab Paul, bro, y'all wouldn't believe, bro. This dude, complimentary players, bro, and we ain't talking about his really just nasty mid range stopping pop. Super. He deep, that's what's crazy. That's what, that's what I was about to talk about, man. I think you can't say that now. He was like still Cleveland, leading. My first year in Cleveland, yes, we got Kevin out of the trade. He older, man. We lost in the finals. Yeah, I know. I'm just he saying, like, his defense was to unlock Cliff everything. No. He more Cliff Paul than anything. He was enough to unlock everything. Then we was able to add Channing Fry, add Richard Jefferson to that, to that second team. Add those guys. And then the experience that we had from the year previously. 
you know, JR got better and Shump, you know, and obviously we were healthier, you know. Kyrie goes down in the finals with, you know, busted kneecap and Kev obviously separated. Yeah, so Showed boy, I wonder. But who injured us? Uh, right. The compliment. I forgot, the uh, Kevin Love. I know you're awesome talking about. Man, I wonder, bro, I wonder. Back slap that nigga. Oh, sure. I was so mad when he injured Kevin Love. Yeah, bro. classified as a, as a, as a real super team. Right. So I, man, I felt I think, that ring. I think you know the goal thing, of, of this show <laughs> felt is to really just like talk about at the heels down fifth. I'm right? telling you, bro. And you and always been, bro. And I, I love it. My heart is on racing, bro. Too much of my well felt it. Jerk it, bro. We both live on. Let's be honest. We live on. You was about to. You was about to. The discourse. I I have to participate in the discourse and. Right. And I said well, this well, I, I, I said this so much I've seen the refill. I did see you get a refill. It provides yeah. a level of entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah, get yeah, it. Let me start. And I, I right feel like the refill. Probably sometimes I get annoyed at the keywords that get that Do everything, man. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. But I just, on this point we're making about how a team works. Yeah. There's, there's the um, the word important. Who's the more important player for the Boston Celtics? Who's the most important player yeah, yeah. for the Boston Celtics? Um, I also you know get annoyed with the word pressure, right? Those are the two words that drive and me. And we ain't saying who get paid the most. <laughs> Pressure in particular. Come on, Brown. Come on, spit it out now. If you've, if you've like been around, you know that most guys in the NBA put an insane amount of pressure on themselves. For That's sure. why we all have fucking anxiety. <laughs> like we all put so much pressure on ourselves. And the important word bugs me because the best player is always the most important player. It's very hard to win in the NBA if the player who has the most outsized <laughs> impact yeah, isn't sure. at his yeah, best. Yeah, sure. And no offense, yeah, sure. 2011 is a great example of yeah. that. I wasn't at my best. You weren't at I your lost. best, and yeah. you lost. If I played right. anything like I did in yeah, the yeah, yeah, Final yeah, yeah, but <laughs> you could have been at your best, <laughs> and the role players <laughs> Look so, like, for me, this is why I get annoyed. Because I'm like, yeah. I'm like, like, CP. Not getting like, the last drop out of it, huh? get the swirl in the cup. But oh, he's killing Andre that thing. Good. Had a role. Jamal had a role. Uh, Pat Barnes had a role. Luke and Bob Mute the next two yeah. years had a role. Like, we all had an important role. And guess what? We put a lot of pressure on ourselves yeah. to actually play well and actually contribute to winning. Yeah. And I feel like we live in this fucking 2K world where we're like putting a roster together. And it's like, yeah. who can help? I'll be real with you, JJ, man. Put as many good players that You're don't even make sense different thing about LeBron. He together. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He like, man, yeah. And it drives me crazy. It's like, what's wrong with this team? Well, it's very <laughs> I, don't look, look, I love JJ, bro. I'm telling you, I love him. <laughs> what you about to say, though? And the players look, and their man. skills <laughs> have to complement each other. I don't know about boy. Oh, you talking about that guy, kind of Brian, Brian Duda. The sacrifice to figure yeah. out. Oh, yeah. You don't know about the skills. I, 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 I get it. You know, you, you know, you know, you're the lead. We only about to relate. How can I'm I still figure out how to compliment? Right. It's going to make me better. It's going to make LeBron better. It's going to make you better. Brian been known about pressure before you. Bro, role player. Before and that's basketball. basketball. And that's basketball. You never, basketball. You never had that crown that top of your head. That is oh, role player. Oh, no, no. So no, no, I'm just, I'm just, oh, I'm just saying, though. Well. Like, it's a whole different dimension, bro, yeah, with LeBron and, and JJ, basketball. bro. Like, it's, it's, the knowledge of saying. And you think he tried to? Yeah. I he ain't trying to, but it's it's like LeBron. 12. Like, he just, you know, well, like, it's, yeah. I see what you're saying, JJ, but it never been to the level where it's going to be. Nobody, that, nobody, hey, if I was to put this crowd on your head, you instantly die from the pressure. What can I do to broaden my Break your game deck. to where we don't lose? You can't wear team. this, man. You can't wear this, bro. It don't even fit you, man. Yeah, I'm telling you. Mindset. And everyone's talking about, you know, Chris Bosch was this before that. No one ever asked Chris Bosch. No one ever asked Chris Bosch about how he feels. <laughs> everyone just speaks for him. No one asked him how he feels. He knew he was making a sacrifice. We all knew we was making sacrifices. But we knew what the, what the fuck we all came together for, and that was to win championships. And that's what we did. 
How you like the podcast, 50? Oh, man, this is deep, bro. I, I know. This I, is deep. I, that's I got, why I wanted you to watch this. I got, so I got a little more respect for role players. It definitely. Uh, just seeing them break down, like, all the play. I love that. Yeah. How they break down, yeah. like you say, uh, kind of like basketball for dummies. If you ain't never seen or heard of basketball before, they could break it down to where you can understand what's going on, bro. This is wild. And <laughs> how many ways they can break a play down and they could turn it to another play just because one person in the play do something different. And they, and not only that, but they continue to run this continue, throughout the whole. Continue. Until they stop it. Bro, LeBron, you mean that game I told you he went off at three pointers? Mm hmm. He said he kept, like, the play worked once, he just ran it back. And, that, and, that, and, and that's it. That's it, bro. He's, bro, Warriors do it, man. <laughs> Especially the one I seen uh, where he's talking about with the one Draymond. I see that so, so many much. Times, bro, it's, what? What can you do? But it's so hard because I can float it. You know, I can I, I can almost lay up it. And, or, you know, and it's, oh, I can just do an alley. -oop. It's like, bro, what, what, you got to stop the shot. Your, your first your first conscience is, I got to stop this shot. Follow the ball. Follow the ball. When I'm following the ball, I can't do nothing about that. I'm devastated like that. What you do when, you, when somebody floating it over your head? You know what's going on behind you, right? Ugh. Every time, bro. Hey, man, shout out to JJ and LeBron for this podcast, man. Love the jewels, man.